what's up everybody it's been a little while since i made a video but because i haven't had wi-fi for a few days and i just uh, moved to a new place so but now um this is the first time i basically looked at the market maybe in like a week or so uh yeah that's about right let's see what it's doing uh, looks like we bounced off that support pretty well kind of interesting actually kind of surprising We've been at those like four weeks or whatever. Um, yeah, but this obviously gonna be a lot I wanna do in this video. It might be a little bit longer for video depending on what we decide to talk about, but I did buy a lot of stuff the last few weeks. Um, I guess I was looking at the markets obviously, but not like in detail. Um, I was just doing like my, my mobile phone app, so I wasn't really do this. But yeah, I did buy some stuff still. Um, it was just stuff that we already looked at, though. It's not like anything new. Go through that in a little bit. Uh, I want to see JDX. JDX. Huge move up in miners. Uh, I still think I need to add a little bit more there, but let's look at the Dow. Still really been consolidating this half 180 days. Basically, no big change. Wow, Bitcoin almost back at like 6,500. Wow, yesterday is a really strong candle. It's up like 10%. Wow. Interesting. Let's see crude oil. Well, I guess I'll go to Ethereum first. Ethereum's down today though. 2.5%. We're getting these like lower highs though. You see that? Interesting. Not crude oil. Had a pretty good week last week. Really strong. That's a bad. That's pretty bearish. I mean, we're at like over eighty bucks. I think. I don't know. Eighty bucks is kind of fine for now. Don't want it to run up too much. It basically moved from sixty-two to eighty, with like a two percent pullback at one point. Maybe like a four percent here, but nothing significant. Too significant. Wow, gold got really rejected. Eighteen hundred. Wow. Do have this higher low here. And interesting. Silver it got rejected as well. I mean, obviously, it's going to get rejected if gold did. Clear downtrend. Uh, I don't even know which one to pick, but clear downtrend. Interesting. I wonder if this is like the final move down and then now. I don't know, I've been saying that for a while, but I don't know, silver's looking pretty spicy still. I'm still pretty bullish. Maybe in the short term bearish, but long term bullish. Let's see, we're gonna go through what's on the watch list for right now. Uh, we got Apple here. What, what am I looking at? Oh yeah, it broke up. Fell. Wow, it actually fell back to 130. Wow, 10% drop. Like this month. AG had a pretty big run up. That's like 15%, 14% pullback. Still might add that, I don't know yet. It is so, I'm not sure why I'm still watching this, but it's a pretty good company. Corsair, I'm actually got very excited yesterday as I saw it, or I got like heard, heard about it, and my friend was watching it too. Me and him are both watching this still. And again, we were talking about this before back in like 26. It did move up like 10% to 30, but it got really rejected, so um, we almost missed the boat, I guess, but man, if it gets to like 22, 23, that's where we're going to get really excited. That's about 5 more percent. I'm not being too hasty with this, though. Like, even if the opportunity presents itself, I'm probably not going to add, but I'd be very interested in just to keep that in mind. Discovery. Wow, I'm actually surprised it's fading this much. Yeah, yeah, that huge, you know, we, we um, were talking about it, the down move, but then the up move, that was pretty a uh, whipsaw pattern, but now it's fading. Let's say a weekly candles. Um, this candle actually looks pretty bullish, but this is a complete bearish candle last week. Started here, tried to go above, boom, was shot down. No bueno. EMX, still interested. Foot Locker, I did, um, or I was doing an analysis, I think a few weeks, two weeks ago, maybe, uh, maybe a week 
you, I don't know. Just I was looking at Yahoo Finance and stuff. I guess this was two weeks ago. This seems to be a pretty good company, to be honest. I don't want to be that guy, but it seems to be a pretty good company. Maybe I'll do an analysis on that soon. Um, Bear Gold, Google. That's a pretty big dip. HP, I was watching. Logitech, ooh, I did say I was really interested in buying this, and I still am. Um, I don't want to be too hasty with this, though. I mean, it's at a pretty good buy for me fundamentally right now. Technically, though, I kind of want to see what happens around these levels, but it, looking below 80, though, would be nice. That's still going to fall a decent amount.
average it at 371. So yeah, basically doubled the position. But yeah, the technicals played out, so fundamentals still are the same. Mag's pretty much all over the place. Um, I did add down here, my average, oh wow, my average price is 17.99 now. It was like 18.40, maybe 18.50, I don't know. But we, we got it down a little bit, not much, but a little bit. Uh, 3M, eh, nothing really. Northrop Grumman, I don't know what happened these last, this last month, but up about 10%. Pretty cool. I was thinking about liquidating this though, because I literally, I have one share. I just wanted a piece of the company. Um, but like now I'm looking at it, like I have Lockheed, this thing did run up. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to make a lot of money off of it, but it's just like, do I really need to do the same, or like same different company, but same sector space, you know? I don't know. Smith & Weston, I don't, I did not add, but I'm getting interested. I would like to see, I think I did add back here though, but I think we talked about that. I, I do want to see like 20 bucks. Uh, they're, they're also, they're moving their plan from Massachusetts, Massachusetts to Tennessee in 2023. It's going to cost about 120 million, which is like 10% of their market cap. Like right now they're like a billion dollar company, but I don't know. I just think that's even a better move. Uh, like long term, I think this company that's got 125 million is already relocate. Mm, yeah. Verizon, we did a lot. did a lot of buying. Uh, average price now is 54, 50. Sorry, 54, 48. Literally bought this candle this day. Um, I think one of these days too. Um, yeah. I mean, this just seems like a buy. Dividend yields about five percent. Although this candle is very bearish. And then this, the following day is even more bearish. Do have earnings in two days? We will see. But I think long term, like, I think on a monthly candle, this should hold. Uh, technically wise, it should not fall below 50, just from a technical point of view. If it does, that's really, really bad. But I still think the fundamentals of the company are fine. I'm fine with the 5%. Or right now, I think I'm like a 4, 8 yield on Verizon. They increase it about 2%, 3% every year. Not the best, but it's okay. And um, it's about their payout ratio is anywhere from 50 to 60% of their free cash flow. That's perfectly fine to me. The only problem I have with this company is they have a lot of debt. A pretty absurd amount of debt. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's the main thing I don't like. But everything else seems pretty good. So Walgreens had earnings too. They did pretty well, I guess. I don't know. Jumped. I didn't read the earnings report. I didn't have time. It's, was that Friday? Saturday? Yeah. On Friday. Well, it shot up like 5 6%. So pretty good. But now it basically sold right back off. Um, I mean, yo, oh, one interesting thing. This company, when I did my analysis... I was using Yahoo Finance, and Yahoo Finance has an error in it. The 2020, they used the debt, um, the debt number is just wrong. When I went to their website, their debt is a lot, or their SEC filing, their debt is actually a lot less than what Yahoo Finance um, displays, basically. I don't know why exactly that is, but they just used a different number. Same thing with Foot Locker. When I went to Foot Locker's uh, SEC filings or earnings report, whatever, they have like basically no debt. Yahoo Finance includes like the leasing or something with the debt for some reason and it gives it a very different number so um, just something to keep an eye out like those websites are sometimes aren't the best and I did use that website this is actually interesting too, interesting too. I just realized they increased their dividend oh no they cut it by like 5 cents a year but then they increased it like a whole penny a year uh, that's like what, like a two percent, nothing really. But I think we talked about wheat and precious metals, but now I do have a position in them. Finally, average price at thirty-seven fifty-one nine. Fifty-one, like right here, basically. I added, I think I added right below here, then I added down here. Now we're up, not that much. Actually, that's like six percent. Actually, I'm up more than that. Fifty-seven. I'm up like 
Yeah, eight percent maybe. Still would like to add some more, but again, I don't want to leverage myself too much into the metals again. Um, and I just again, I want to have cash on hand. Exxon, uh, just kind of doing its thing again. Oil, that reminds me. PAA, yeah, this is the mummy I literally bought like back here or something, <laughs> and lost five percent. And then I, I sold it because I did not like these two candles. And it was whatever, like I already had Exxon, but now from there it shot up like whatever percent, twenty percent. My average price was like nine eight maybe, so I would have been up yeah, like twelve percent right now. So I mean, kind of just dumb on me, but it's it's not dumb because at the time the information didn't look too good. The dumb play here was SM Energy. I mean, back I literally had this at I think five bucks, and then I sold it for like I think ten bucks. It was like almost a hundred percent trade. I think it was like eighty. But um, I was gonna buy that, or P SM or PAA, and I ended up buying PAA, but I was gonna buy SM at like 17. And I mean, I don't know if I would still hold on, but I would've been up like 70%. I should've could've what it right, doesn't really matter. But I remember buying SM Energy at like four or five bucks, and I was like, I feel like one day it's gonna be like a $30 stock. Um, this was literally back here because that's when I bought it. Uh, almost a year ago well is that right yeah and i didn't think it would be possible but <laughs> here we are today and it is uh, literally 30 dollars and one cent today i mean yeah it's a bunch of shoulda coulda woulda stuff but uh it's just interesting man there's so much you gotta look at um what moved today let's see zillow down to nine percent whoa what happened today Zillow says it can't buy any more homes this year. Reportedly has a halt home purchases. What? Zillow halts, home, Zillow halts home purchasing program for the rest of the year due to backlog. Whoa. Disney's one of them. Biogen. Blackberry. Let's see. Let's see what move is more exciting. Roku. Whoops. Roku up six. AMC still doing thing. Neo, wow, Neo did kind of fall. I haven't looked at Neo in a while. Let's see. AMD, how's that doing? One sixteen. Whoa, big jump up. Uh, Lululemon still grinding on her Facebook. Uh, I feel like oh Tesla. Wow, Tesla's back up there, almost at nine hundred bucks again. Wow, huge candle yesterday too, like 3%. Simon Property, wow, it's moving. My friend's got this at 70 bucks. I think it's like 69 bucks, but he's up like 100 something percent. No more than that. Maybe like 65, because he was at 100% trade. I don't know, doesn't have a big position though. I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to undermine it, but I'm just saying it's not too big. There's something I just want to look at, but I forgot what it was. Let's see, I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Anyway, I think my next buy, though, really looking at a REIT, would like to buy O. Um, I'm kind of hoping it kind of gets rejected here at like 70 bucks. Again, it falls a little bit. I kind of missed the boat down here. I missed the boat, but, um, yeah, I just want to read the portfolio. I want a monthly dividend company. Would be nice. I think, oh, dividend right now. I mean, we could do the math, but it's like, it's about 4.5%. Stags is like 3.4%, but I do like stag at the industrial read more than like, oh, but I don't know, like, I just think this is a better company and, and their investment goals just seem to be you know, for the dividend investor, and I don't, I think it just works, like, I'm not trying to, like, reinvent the wheel here, trying to buy some super, like, stag has the potential to, like, grow more market cap faster than, oh, I think stag is, like, five, or maybe ten, no, I think it's a five billion com dollar company, I think, oh, what was it, like, 30 billion, maybe 25 billion, so, probably not gonna grow that much, but it's, like, does it really matter, I just want it for the monthly dividend, and over, let's say, 10, 20 years, or, yeah, I guess that's 10, 20 years, like, that should be fine. Uh, yeah. That's basically.
basically my mentality behind that. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to try to, definitely going to be doing more videos now that everything's kind of settled. So look out my nose, but I'm going to probably do some more like face videos and chat that way. I think the screen's okay. But definitely that last video I mean, we made, um, that got a lot of, uh, I guess positive feedback. So that's good to like know just, you know, from a creator point of view that everybody kind of, not everybody, but a lot of people enjoyed it. Like a lot of people got like 40 likes. That's a lot of likes for my video. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I guess now that I think about it, I could always do like a dual screen, like a quarter of the video is my face. I mean, I'm not saying my face is special at all. <laughs> I'm just saying it just adds a little bit of elements to the ASMR video as opposed to a black screen with some charts. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and take care. I'll talk to you all real soon.